Hey everybody, Teresa here from Inspiration Cards and I'm back with our last card for this month's Stampin' Jammies online card class using the Tasteful Touches stamp set. I hope you've been enjoying the cards so far. We have one more to go, so let's get started. So here's this week's card. So the color combination I use for this is Night of Navy and Crumb Cake. It's a great color combination if you want a more neutral or even a masculine themed card. So what you're gonna need is some linen thread, piece of crumb cake cardstock. So this is basically an eight and a half by 11 sheet cut in half. You'll have one piece of Knight of Navy along with three pieces of basic white. So that's what's in your card supplies. And this one here is cut out using the Stitched So Sweetly's dies, which is a new favorite of mine. Loving those guys. So as always, I like to kick off my cards by just folding my card base in half. I like to just get that out of the way. So give that a nice crisp, clean fold with my bone folder. And then let's set that off to the side. And then grab your large piece of basic white. And on the inside, I'm gonna use the the tile image, I always like to add a little something on the inside, whether it's a phrase or an image, usually my go-to is more of an image. And on the inside, I'm gonna use the Knight of Navy ink for this stamp. So the card base is Creme Cake. So this way I've got a little bit of both of my colors on the inside of the card. And that's just going to go right down here in the bottom. There we go. So still lots of room for uh, a phrase, a note, whatever else you want to add in there. And this week we're actually going to do some stamping on the card mat as well. So I'm going to do some, we're going to do some tone on tone. So I'm going to actually use Knight of Navy ink on this piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. And we're going to use the more... Not quite floral, so I'm not sure what exactly you would call this image, but this is the one here. There we go. And again, you can use your Knight of Navy. And because I've got a little stamp and spot, I'm gonna tap the stamp and spot onto the stamp as opposed to the other way around. And so this is gonna go just kind of down the left-hand side here. And you want to try and get them as close together as possible. If it overlaps a little bit, that's you don't have to worry about that too much. Because our strip of basic white is actually going to cover up a chunk of this. All right, so there we go. So it runs the full length. And then we're going to do just a couple, just a little bit right of center. We stamped right next to the, the the line we just made now, it would basically just get covered up by our strip of basic white once we add that on. So this way we get a little bit of a background, a little bit of interest on the card mat as well. You could also do that by embossing your card mat. All right, so I'm going to set that aside to dry. And then let's pull in our strip of basic white. We're going to pull in that tile image again. And this time around, I'm going to start with my crumb cake ink color. And we're just going to stamp this a few times kind of randomly onto our cardstock. Flip that around. There we go. And we're going to do that one more time. And this time we're going to do it with Knight of Navy. 
fill in some of those gaps. And this is a great way to just fill in those pieces. You just twirl the stamp in whichever direction you need to kind of fill in that gap. There we go. And we're going to do one more partial image there. There we go. All right, and we're gonna set that aside to dry now and pull in our little <clears throat> stitched label. And so this one, this week, we're gonna add the You Are Special sentiment. You can always switch it up and add whatever you'd like from this stamp set or another stamp set that you've got. And again, I'm going to use the Knight of Navy to ink this up. I'm just going to center that in our stitched die. Here we go. All right, so that's it for our stamping. And so now we're just going to pull in our pieces and get to some assembling. <clears throat> So I'm going to grab my tape runner here. And so here's our large piece of basic white. So this is just going to go on the inside of our crumb cake card base. So whether you're using tape runner or liquid glue, whatever is your go-to. Gonna grab a scrap piece of paper there. Don't need to get any extra ink on our card. There we go. All right, and next up is our Knight of Navy stamped card mat. And so lining up the longer strip of stamped images on the left hand side of your card base. There we go. And then again with your tape runner, actually one second, pause, back it up because we need to add our linen thread. There go. Getting a little ahead of myself here. All right, so let's add our strip, sorry guys. All right, so that's just gonna get added just a little off center. So you can see what I mean by if you overlap your images, you're not gonna really see. There we go, all right, and now I'm gonna take, you can grab your linen thread and twice around Go. And once you've got that wrapped around, there we go. You can tie your bow first or you can stick that on there. All right. So you want to try and tie that bow towards the left hand side of your card. Here we go. All right, and our phrase is gonna get added on with just a few dimensionals. These are the minis here. Minis are full size, completely up to you. Uh, 
and that's just gonna go just to the right of your linen thread bow. And as always, I do have another project to show you using the Tasteful Touches stamp set. So this is one I did a little while back. So got that crumb cake base, and then I've paired it with Mossy Meadow. And then what I did was I actually did some sponging after I stamped the, the images. So I stamped the that same image that we used on our Knight of Navy card mat in crumb cake, and then just did a little sponging on top. And then we've got our bud branch with the mossy meadow. And then I used some blends to color in the, the blooms that I cut out. You can see I did a little bit of tearing around the edge just to give a little something extra to the card. So there you have it, our last card using Tasteful Touches for this month's Stampin' Jammies online card class. If you're going to join us for October, we're going to be using the Pretty Pumpkins stamp set. And if you missed out on signing up for the full class kit, don't worry, you can still get the card supplies and I'm happy to mail them out to you. For just $20, you'll get all the supplies for all four cards and that includes shipping to anywhere in Canada. If you're outside of Canada, we just add a little bit more for that extra shipping and you'll be good to go too. Or if you want to get into November Stampin' Jammies online card class, there's still time to get the full class kit, which includes the Frosted Gingerbread Stamp Set, all of the class uh, supplies, plus one ink pad and some coordinating designer series paper. So you have until October the 12th to sign up for that class. Otherwise, it'll just be the card supplies, just like for my October class that you'll be able to get. And you can follow along with the videos whenever you get the chance. In the meantime, you can ask any questions. You can post them in the comments or send me an email at inspirationwithteresa at gmail.com. Or you can check out some of my other projects and things that are going on through my Facebook page, Inspiration Cards, or on my blog at inspirationcards.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.